לסינטו קייל, agroplants.org, also known as Tuscan Kale or Dinosaur Kale, or Tuscan Cabbage. So this leaf plant, uh, herbescus, it's a kind of kale, a variety of kale, and it can grow as per- per- perennial evergreen or biennial, and even can possible to grow it as annual plant. It's used for the edible leaves, but uh, you can also grow it for the colored leaves. Uh, very beautiful. And except this can grow in variety of climate, temperate, Mediterranean or subtropical climate. A uh, growing as perennial in hardiness zone of 7 to 10, as perennial from hardiness zone of 2 to 6 and hardiness zone of 11. Uh, except this, if you would like to purchase this plant, don't forget that every perch, this is donation for this channel. So you have a link below, link in the right top side. And if you perch, of course, it's donation. Also, don't forget to subscribe. This is also amazing donation for this channel. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to do like in the continuation. So, uh, when growing a hardiness zone of 11, need to uh, different uh, caring, let's say. So the leaves, as I said, are uh, can be in few colors, can be green, blue, or even a little bit dark uh, purple blue. It depends the cultivar. And there is bumps. This is normal for the plant. Don't be, don't worry. This is part of the leaves, and the leaves can be curly in the edge. Uh, there is also just green variety, but if you grow, highly recommend the bluish one, as you see in the pictures because this is a beautiful one, it's video, not pictures. Except this, uh, I would highly recommend uh, to grow it in rich soil, moist soil, and a lot of mulch. I saw amazing, uh, it's not a really research, but amazing uh, deal that someone done that just put so much mulch uh, in the plant, and you really, really see the, the effective of the mulch done without or with the effective of the mulch and this is was beautiful to see the different and it arrived to huge 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 size of the uh, uh, of the leaves uh, you should fertilize it at least uh, better to fertilize not must twice a year it will be better uh, if you have uh, some uh, larvas of butterflies then pierce uh, better to prune all the plants to cut all the leaves to let it pass to check that there isn't more eggs somewhere and then let it grow again. This is the best met- method to to deal with these pests uh, because first you don't want to kill this pest because this is beautiful flowers, white flower, uh, sorry, white butterfly and I love butterflies so I will never kill butterflies no matter how much I destroy my garden and they are destroying my garden a lot of time so be aware. So. How to start from uh, to grow this? So seeds, it's an option. Seedlings, just to buy a plant or cutting. You, it is possible from cutting. It's a little bit annoying, but it is possible. Uh, you can also do it in the water, but be aware not to put it so much time in the water. The moment that you see the first roots, take it away from the water. Uh, when you do cuttings, I meant. So planting season. So spring is an annual, in hardiness zone of two to six. Uh, possible in the summer, but will die anyway in the autumn, so it's it's like a waste of time. And also an as annual in hardiness zone of 11 to plant it in the autumn. As perennial, spring to summer in hardiness zone of 7 to 10A. And autumn to winter in hardiness zone of 10B. Possible to sow it also uh, to sow in the spring and plant it in the spring. But if you have heat waves like I have, it will die. So better, let's say, before the heat wave, if you can participate them, because it just always it's a surprise. So if you have heat wave, put it in really, 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 really a, a shady place with a lot of water. Major pests are Pyrus, This is a butterfly and Prodenia, and there is some more. But this is for me. This is, was the most crucial one. A uh, pruning season, uh, I would say there isn't really pruning season, you can do it all the year better after the blooming season 
or before even better just to cut the, the blooms stems uh, how to prune uh, usually just for design the height of the plant will be usually from 30 to 80 centimeter it's been 12 to 32 inches but uh, can grow much higher even one meter and a half it can arrive so it's mean like 120 uh, something like this uh, inches or just five in uh, feet it's easier grow uh, speed will be fast uh, in the right condition uh, require average to big amount of water uh, if you have really hot summer big amount of water it's must light condition can be full sun uh, half shade if you don't want that it will bloom but in a cold area uh, let's say hard in a zone of uh, very, it's as an annual in let's say four to six or something like this two to six even a uh, full sun it's must a uh, half shade it's uh, above this if you grow it as a perennial half shade or full sun it's okay if you grow it in a uh, hardiness zone of 11 must be in full shade and in hardiness zone of 10b better in a uh, full shade or almost full shade the leaves become bitter in the very hot sun and they are not and chewy and really really not edible so this is why you should grow it in a full shade it is possible to grow it indoor as a house plant uh, but need a lot of lights if not won't grow well if you want to grow it in container there isn't a problem but need at least uh, depends the cultivar but uh, the cultivars that I grow at least 25 liter L it just full fill all the it's crazy but after two years it fill all the all the all the bucket all the container it's been 6.5 gallons possible less for uh, smaller cultivars or are apparently smaller but I never encounter one of them so this is what I know the big ones and they usually after a few years it's arrived to this size the main main idea if you grow it as an annual smaller pots will be enough the main idea when you grow it uh, be aware that uh, in a pot I mean in container be aware that you need to switch the soil every few years this is why I start with small and go until big uh, blooming season usually from the summer to the autumn uh, in hardiness zone 10b to 11 might bloom in the spring even and this is catastrophic for the plant just cut a pr uh, prune if you don't need the seed just feel free to prune the blooming stems except this uh, harvesting the leaves season might be all the year uh, depend where you grow it uh, in hardiness zone of 10b to 11 uh, autumn to early spring after this you can harvest no problem just bitter and uh, if you grow it in very cold climate like hardiness zone of 7 uh, to let's say to 9 uh, to 9a uh, in the winter better not to harvest it will make the plant weak and might die so except this you can eat it raw uh, you can put it in a salad or cook it you can also make uh, rolled leaves and this is very 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 good fry it uh, and it's another option so how to grow it from seeds uh, usually uh, planting when it start to be uh, let's say 20 degree it will be okay in the spring as an annual it's need a little bit cold cool let's say cold weather it's important and keep the seeds also in co cold temperature in the refrigerator will be much better and uh, as an annual in the let's say in the spring but p better even in the indoor in the end of the winter or mid of the winter uh, autumn in the hardiness zone of 11 as spring to autumn uh, to summer in hardiness zone of 7 to 10 a and autumn to the winter in hardiness zone of 10 b possible also in the spring uh, spacing it depends the cultivar uh, this is very important uh, but usually uh, 30 on 50 uh, for the big cultivars it's a centimeter it's mean like 12 on 20 inches but for small cultivars possible uh, less much less uh, condition for germination it will be a better full sun moist 
moist soil and well drained. Uh, usually it takes between 7 to 20 days to germinate and accept this. Uh, if you want to grow it, uh, be aware that it's really really beautiful as you can see. But accept this, it's not just the beauty, it's also edible. So it's beautiful and edible. Uh, it's very impressive and you can do a lot of things from this. It's like if you don't know what is this plant, so if you know what is cabbage, so this is, you can do a lot of things like you eat cabbage, but it's a little bit different taste and uh, I think it's good things to grow. Uh, again, in the summer it will be bitter, bitter so don't harvest in the summer in hot uh, summer places and uh, except this, just consider. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website and of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.